Decorative interior sliding door hardware is great for saving space and creating a custom look in almost any room in the house. The new soft close accessory kit by National Hardware will eliminate bouncing and enhance your existing sliding doors with a gentle soft closing action. In this video, we will be showing you how to install a soft close kit on your own National Hardware interior sliding door system. The tools required for this project are an electric drill, a tape measure, a pencil, a drill bit, a flathead screwdriver, and a wrench and socket set. Here are all the parts you will find in your soft close kit. Before beginning, make sure you have already installed your sliding door hardware and that your door slides smoothly. Please note, solid wood doors are recommended for this application. First, temporarily remove your door from the track and remove the anti-jump discs from the top of the door. You will no longer need these when your soft close kit is installed. Position an actuator on the top of the door with the lip on the front face of the door. Center the actuator on the width of the door and mark the screw holes. Next, drill the marked holes and install the actuator. Reinstall the door on the track. Slide the door to the closed position and use a pencil to mark the center of the actuator on the bottom of the track. Then slide the door to the open position. Install a mounting bracket on both ends of both soft close assemblies. Make sure to install the mounting brackets as high as possible on the slotted holes. Check that the set screws are flush with the insides of the mounting brackets. If needed, use the supplied hex wrench to back them out until they're flush. Now, install a soft close assembly on the bottom of the track. Center the catch gap on the pencil mark you made in step two. Please note the two soft close assemblies in the package are not identical, so make sure to install the assembly with the angled lever closest to the center of the track. If you can't center the catch gap on the pencil mark because of a track spacer, just shift the position of the soft close assembly so you can install it directly next to the spacer. In this case, you may need to remove or reposition your doorstop. Use the hex wrench to tighten the set screws and secure the mounting brackets to the track. Now, use a flathead screwdriver to pull the catch towards the center of the track so that the soft close assembly is in the open position. Use caution here, as this may require some force. Slide the door to the closed position. It should now close softly and smoothly. Next, measure the width of your door. If your door is 34 inches or less, continue on to step 6. If your door is wider than 34 inches, skip to step 7 at the time indicated below. While the door is still in the closed position, install a soft close assembly on the opposite end of the track. It should be as close as possible to the second spacer from the edge of the track. Use the hex wrench to tighten the set screws. Move the door to the open position so the door overlaps the opening by one inch. It will require more force to pull the door because of the spring in the soft close assembly. Place the second actuator on the door so that its top is centered in the catch gap of the newly installed soft close assembly. If you find that your second actuator is too close to the first actuator, Shift the soft close assembly over until the second actuator can sit flush on the door. Mark the actuator's screw holes. Remove the door from the track, drill the marked holes, and install the second actuator. Reinstall the door in the center of the track. Use a flathead screwdriver to open the catch of the soft close assembly. Slide the door to the open position. It should now open softly and smoothly. If your door is 34 inches or less, your installation is complete. If your door is wider than 34 inches, continue to step 7. Slide the door to the open position. 
It will require more force to pull the door because of the spring in the soft close assembly. Use a pencil to mark the center of the actuator on the bottom of the track. Slide the door back to the closed position. Next, install the second soft close assembly on the track with the catch gap centered on the pencil mark. Again, if you can't center the catch gap on the pencil mark because of a track spacer, shift the position of the soft close assembly so you can install it directly next to the spacer. Then, tighten the set screws on the mounting brackets. Use a flathead screwdriver to open the catch of the soft close assembly. Slide the door to the open position. It should now open softly and smoothly. Your soft close installation is complete.